Okay, this here is this here's part two on how to tell if your lawnmower battery is bad. In the last video, that battery there was at 12.2 something volts, 12.20. It was well over 12 volts, and as you see, my meter is now showing it fluctuating, and it's right at 12 volts. That's a telltale sign that battery is no good, because when I go to hit the key. It'll drop, and that's just with the ignition on, powering the fuel solenoid on the carburetor. Now, when I go to start the mower, the battery's going to drop to almost nothing. Heard the solenoid click. Keep hearing the solenoid chatter. And whenever you hear that sound there, when the solenoid starts chattering, you know the battery's no good. Or, you have a loose wire. But these wires are tight. That ground's kind of funky, but... We don't worry about the ground. I worry about these numbers on the battery. So what I'm going to do is put this new battery in there. And this is a battery that I get that is made by Interstate Batteries. I'm not going to go into detail about them batteries. But that battery there is like a 400 cold cranking amps and that one's only 230. Now, like I said in the last video, the higher that CCA the stronger the battery, the more cranking amps it can put out. But whenever you hear a solenoid chattering, you know this battery is no good, especially when the voltage is below 12. Now, I usually charge or replace batteries when that voltage is below 12.15. I like to see it at around 12.86, 12.5, almost 13 volts. All right, so I'm going to change that battery, and then we'll do the same setup, and I'll show you all the difference. All right, this here is in reference to the video I did, or the previous clips you've seen for when I showed about basic troubleshooting with the electrical system on a riding mower, checking the battery, safety switches. Now, this battery happens to be no good. Now, you see it's showing 12.12 .12 volts. If you remember in the video, it was at 12.26. So, what happens when I go to try to start the mower? Well, as soon as I turn the key on, voltage is dropping, and when I go to start the motor, the battery goes completely dead, then back up again. So that means there's a bad cell in that battery. And the wires are not warm at all, but as you see now, it's at 11.7, 11 11.8 .7, volts. So this battery is no good, even though it's from September of 18. Lawnmower batteries only last two to five years. All right, well, I'm gonna put in a brand new battery, and yeah. All right, the new battery is in. I had to put it in the opposite way of the old one because the posts were on the opposite side. So now what we're gonna do is turn our multimeter on. I'm going to put this terminal, hmm, where will it stay at? right up in here. I'm going to take this terminal do the same and we're getting 12.67 volts which is what I like to see. Anything over like I said 12.5 you have a good battery. It will fluctuate obviously because I'm not directly on the posts. I'm on the spot on the wire. But now what we're going to get to see is a difference from the old battery that is now sitting in my no good battery pile. So I'm going to turn the key. Voltage drops maybe hardly nothing. Now we're going to try to start the mower. And you see the mower actually wanted to start and the battery voltage dropped briefly and went right back up. And like I said it's fluctuating because I got it hooked up that way but you see it's over 12.5 volts. And you notice how fast the motor spun over. So say your battery's brand new, your voltage is over 12.5, and you still have a problem with the battery going down. That might be your alternator on the motor. Now, check the alternator. You have to find the alternator wires. Generally, they're going to be coming out from up under the flywheel. Which I believe it's this red wire right here is your alternator wire, and it is. This is your alternator 
right here. Someone's been in here before, I can tell. And uh, you have a light wire, and the reds are hot. You'll only have one wire. No, you'll actually have two wires coming off the alternator, red and a white. But I'm not going to show how to check the alternator on this piece of junk because someone's cobbled with the wires. Anyways, you notice how fast the motor spun over? The battery voltage dropped to like 11.75, I think, which is totally normal, and then it went right back up. Because when this motor's spinning, there's an alternator under there that has magnets on it. I don't think I have one that I can show, and I'm not going to tear apart an alternator, but we're going to go back out here to another mower, start it up, and check the alternator on it. Alright, so we're going to use a snapper here because it's easier, and um, this one here, you have two wires coming out of the top here. One's an alternator, and the other's going to be the engine stop wire. Uh, i got to find what wire is what, though, because if I put the meter on the wrong wire, so this wire in the back, which is going back into this lead off the starter, is your alternator wire. So, before I start it, what we're going to do is check battery voltage. Alright, so I am not using a cell phone now. I'm using my camcorder. So what we're going to do is check battery voltage. You all probably cannot see that multimeter very well. Uh, see it better if I lay it here, maybe? Move the throttle up because I'm going to start it anyways in a minute. You all can kind of see it, so we're going to go positive to negative, and I'm on the post of the battery. This battery is actually low. It's at a note. There it goes, 12.2. I ain't got a good connection. Let me go right on the post. Okay, we're at 12.4. It's not low, but I'd like to see it 12.5. So 12.40 is actually good. Between 12 and 12 is borderline. I would say 12.1, 12.5 stationary. Your battery's good. I would recoil start this one, but the recoil's broke. And this one's going to be fixed and sold. But now we got to hook up to the alternator. We have to go to ground, obviously. Okay, it should be good. So now I'm going to start it. Turn the gas on or it will not start. Can you all see the multimeter? So we're looking for voltage coming out of there if I have it hooked up right. It's been a while since I've done this. But you saw there was 12.6, 16 volts coming out of there. You know the alternator's working on here. I would having trouble finding a good ground, so I ended up grounding it inside the motor. But if there was zero volts coming out of there, we would know that there's something wrong with the alternator. Now what we're going to do is go over here to the battery and see how much voltage is in the battery right now. And then we'll start it again and see if there's voltage going back into the battery. So there's 12.39 volts, so this battery is probably no good. So we're going to start it again, full throttle. This one needs a carburetor, plus I didn't have the gas turned on.
so there was power going back into the battery. It was at 11.75 volts is what it peaked at. So this battery is low. Either that or I have to adjust the valves in the motor, which probably is the valves. But this is how you check a battery. Plus this terminal is kind of nasty. What I tend to do is scratch on this here. Dig down into the lead terminal. Yeah, we're at 12.34 now. So this battery is slowly dropping. It's not a good battery. But anyways, that's how you check the electrical system on a riding mower part two. This is how you check a lot more battery. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, this is a fun little project for those interested in outdoor power. It's amazing how a flywheel rotating over magnets can charge up the battery or keep it up. But anyways, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them as quick as possible. But I have to do the valves on this one when I'm going to finish with that uh, wonderful yard man from the first part. Ugh. Anyway, see you on the next one. Bye for now.